Now, before I begin this interview, I just want to pose a question, right? For those of you who who are familiar with this film, who've seen this shit already, right? Yo, is it just me? Or could Shorty have fucked the teacher? Could Fredro have fucked the bitch? Could the, the white bitch, the coach? It felt like she had, she was throwing this nigga signs and shit. Like if she would give this nigga the pussy if he asked for it. There's even points where this nigga's asking if she want to go to the movies with him. This nigga's giving his bitch a love letter he wrote for his bitch, but he wanted her to like reread that shit and proofread it more or less to make sure that shit was right before he gave it to the bitch. I don't know. I was a little disturbed. She seemed like she was blushing a lot of times when she was talking to Shorty, a.k.a. Fredro Star. Uh, for any of the um the rest of the, the the teammates, the players on the team, she seemed like she would bust it open for a black nigga. I'm like, yo, this shit feels... This feels like some low key cuckold shit, right? But I, right, it's moving on, moving right along, moving away from that bullshit. Yo, Sunset Park was a fire movie. Feel really? me? I felt like it was the generic, um, in house version of Above the Rim. Feel me? It was cleaned up. It was the collared version. It was the brim and proper version of Above the Rim. Above the Rim was raw. That shit was. It was. It was official. It was street shit. It was street related. Feel me? Sunset Park had street issues, but it wasn't necessarily a basketball movie about street shit. It was about a basket. It was more or less about a coach trying to get a job so she could scrape up enough money to open up her own restaurant. More or less, she didn't really give a fuck about winning or losing. She was just trying to fill in for a position for a job. Cool. Now you have the teammates, the players, the students. Feel me? They're... They're functional, but at, 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 at best, they're dysfunctional. They get along, but they don't really get along. Like, you got your typical, you got your nerdy nigga, you got your fucking spaced out. More or less, I want, I want to do these niggas some, some justice, right? If you niggas remember Stacy from the wood, right? The nigga who had the Kango on and, um, damn, I can't remember the son's name right now. So the nigga who had the Kango on and, um, Tales from the Hood. The little skinny nigga, feel me? That nigga. He's the fucking nerdy nigga in Sunset Park. He's the bug out, the, the geeky, extra hyperactive, can't shoot for shit type nigga. Know what I mean? I found that funny. He would be that character in this movie. Little do niggas know in real life, this nigga is some hardcore gangster killer nigga. Like, I believe Sun just did a bid for two, two homicides, real shit. He came out, he home, and I think he trying to pursue some rap career, some shit like that. But that same nigga, do you do your research, homework on that shit, feel me? The nigga dead ass, two bodies, bam, bam, Rambo shit, I mean, but moving right along. We got my nigga, um, what's my nigga, um, the comedian nigga, I can't remember this nigga, and this nigga always got the fucking soda pop noise and shit. Wow, that sound wild crazy. But he's like the, the big for nothing center. I won't even say big for nothing. He got money, but he just think the nigga like how you nigga think he fucking pat you in a a shack or some shit. Like the nigga's a nut. You a center and you don't pass the ball. That's crazy. I could have swore I seen the nigga fucking run the ball up one time, son. I was fucking blown away. But anyway, we got that nigga. He's that player. Feel me? He's a ladies man at the same time too. This nigga always got stories of fucking bitches for some crazy ass reason. So on and so forth. Fredro Starr is the fucking point guard. He's damn near, I want to say, the protagonist. But I don't know. I give it up between him and the white bitch. I don't know. But I know he's, Fredro Starr is like the fucking star player. Not really. I don't know whether to take it serious. Because when you watch these niggas playing scrimmage, yo, them niggas look lost on the court, son. Like, I understand there's a movie, but when these niggas is running a scrimmage, they look lost on the fucking courts. So I seen 2K niggas do better than this shit, jeez. That shit was lost, bro. Moving right along. My motherfucking nigga on the trigger. Terrence fucking Howard's in the film. Believe it or not, my nigga, I think this is the only movie Terrence Howard, more or less. The movies, I think, I believe, anywhere from one uh, an hour and 23 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes. I swear to God, Terrence Howard spoke for maybe 30 minutes out of the entire film. Maybe less than that. This nigga is the, the weed head out the fucking... This nigga's the space cadet, feel me? He don't talk to too much people. He got a strong relationship with Q, and I was I wish that they could have really dug deep into that, but they didn't. But he has a real strong relationship with... with I said Q. I motherfucking said Q. That shit just caught me. I'm talking about Shorty. Fucking nigga, Federal star. Nigga, fucking Q from Oisha, nigga. This shit just hit me, but we're... 
fucking Terrence Howard and Fredro Starr have a real good relationship in the movie. You know what I mean? They both get high together. They don't get no realer than that. Before every game, niggas smoke up a spliff in the locker room and then try to get buckets. It was a funny-ass part in the movie where he, where Fredro is too fucking high and this nigga's doing the dumbest shit. Like, this nigga's dribbling around the ref and shit. Like, the coach don't know what the fuck is going on here. The bitch is still lost. This nigga's in the fucking stands and then audience and shit. In the crowd, more or less, in the bleachers. Niggas is like, yo, get that nigga out the game, coach. That nigga high as a motherfucker. Nigga was dumb high. Nigga ate some fucking chocolate bar on some backwash Eton left like nah that, that was crazy I ain't never been that high before in my life well I ran down on my one of my niggas and was like yo son I got the munchies and I took a bite off that nigga candy bar that shit just sound crazy again different times different days that was back in like 95 96 this is 2017 shit like that is just a little shit like that is um it's, eye, it's eyebrow raising. Shit like that. Feel me? It's hmm. Anywho, right? So the nigga, um, he hires a motherfucker. The bitch don't know what the fuck is up. The audience, yo, this nigga high, so on and so forth. You have shit like that that happens in the movies. There's a lot of, they try to involve people's personal issues that's going on with them outside of school, inside the shit and try to connect it. The coach is trying to play like some, I don't, I don't want to say, but it feels like real talk. When you looking at this shit raw, and you ain't trying to, and you you don't have no expectations for this film, you're just looking at it raw, you're just looking at it as a movie, this shit feels like she's observing black people, my nigga. It feels like she's, up. like, you ever seen the movie Congo? I think it was Congo. If it wasn't Congo, it was Outbreak. It was this part, it was about this film. Uh, even further, there's a documentary where this fucking white bitch went to Africa Damn, I sound crazy. Like, if I don't like white people, white people cool, my nigga. Don't, yo, if you white, if you ain't black listening to this shit thinking I'm going off or some shit, don't take it personal, my nigga. This is just the way I'm talking. I'm exciting. Feel me? I'm excited, more or less. Feel me? But yeah, my nigga, I remember there was a movie about this white bitch and she was just, she lived in the jungle. She observed monkeys. She was doing this shit for so long, my nigga, she could speak the monkeys, my nigga. I'm dead ass. Dead ass serious. This bitch talks to motherfucking. Um, um, Mobley, all that shit. G is like, that's what she does type shit. I mean, so I'm watching this film. I felt like the, the coach lady was similar. She wasn't no different. It felt like she, when she got in the gym, she didn't know what the fuck she was expecting. She didn't know what she was getting ready for. She didn't, she was, she wasn't prepared. Feel me? She just thought the shit was a job. She didn't know that she was going to be in charge of 12 niggas. Damn near 10, 10, 12 niggas. I don't know, nigga. Fault me if I'm wrong with this shit. Geez, I'm. Feel me? I'm trying to stay on fucking subject. I ain't really anyway, but yeah, <laughs> Shorty is really observant. Like she's like, mm, I didn't know black people. Like she didn't say that verbally, but her looks and the way how she like responded to certain situations. Like, like for example, when Shorty gave her the letter, she kind of looked at this shit like I didn't know black people wrote. Like, like I don't know. It was a good movie. Though. It was a good movie. It was a good movie. I'm I'm old right now. I'm violating because I'm looking at that shit like yo, jeez. This shit was not above the rim. Even white men. That's another shit I got to do later. White men can't jump. Really good movie. It had my baby, my poo, my poomski moomski, a.k.a. Rosie Perez filming. <laughs> that was a good basketball movie. Above the Rim was a good basketball movie. Oh, it was a basketball movie. That's the movie with Makai Pfeiffer and Julia Stiles. There's so much good basketball movies. I'm not including Like Mike. Like Mike was a real good movie. I'm not grouping this shit in this shit. No, no. Nah, 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 nah. Ain't nothing against Bow Wow or my nigga Ricky or more Chestnut or whatever. I just don't feel like... I mean, nigga, what the hell? Look out. Look out for that like mic review, nigga. With that being said, I'm out of here. Oh, nah. Yo, go watch that shit. Fact. Sunset Park was a great movie because there's a part in the movie, yo. I ain't even, I even touch on that part, jeez. The nigga Shorty got a girl, right? Uh, he thinks is his girl, right? The nigga chicks on this bitch crazy. Mind you, Shorty's a street nigga. Granted, the nigga is... He's like the heart and soul of the team. I mean, he's the team captain type shit. He be helping the coach. But at the same time, the nigga get busy. He got like his his gang gang that be coming. Sometimes they try to pick him up from um, practice. The nigga tell him niggas like, yo, chill. I'm helping the coach. And I looked at that shit. That was very admirable. Feel me? Shorty just be in the wrong shit at the wrong place, wrong time. He be hanging out with the wrong crowd. But he got a head on his shoulders. Feel me? He thinks or more or less he knows where he wants to go in life. He just has little bits of distractions. Feel me? For example. That bitch, his girlfriend, is definitely a distraction. Nigga almost was doing a fucking bid behind shooting a nigga that was talking crazy, though. Feel me? 
I don't understand that. Feel me? I don't understand that. The nigga, like, high school shit, even in high school, I never was on no shit. Like, I'm not risking shit for this bitch. Are you high, nigga? She got parents. She got brothers. She got friends. The bitch will figure something out. Feel me? I don't know why Shorty felt like, yo, son, I got to be the man. And then she played your dumb ass for that light-skinned bumbarass nigga who looked like Ice-T from motherfucking New Jack City, nigga. You know the light-skinned nigga, son. That nigga. She, she played that nigga for him, son. But it is what it is. I mean, shout out to Shorty. Shout out to Shorty. Shout out to the teacher, too. You know what I mean? And I know I was talking shit about, like, the white teacher was observing nigga, like, if she was lost in the jungle or some shit. But shout out to all them white teachers who understand the niggas more than they family. Real shit, shit like that happens. It's always that, it's always that moment in time when you're in high school. The white teacher knows or, or fucks with you or respects you. Oh, or respects you more. I'm bugging. Nah, I gotta be out of here, jeez. I'm out of here, nigga. Ballheads. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Sharing is caring. Leave a comment. Give me a like. Dislike. It don't matter. Love is love. I'm out of here.